Hi, this is Gary Poole for DiscoverMirrorless.com. One of the many challenges that we face as photographers when blending still images and video clips is color matching. Now it's very important to try to get this capture as close as possible on the input side in the camera by using either custom white balance or presets such as shady, cloudy, sunny, etc. Really try to avoid using auto white balance in either still or video clips as it is often unpredictable and many times very very difficult to uh, color balance in post capture. So I want to show you today how easy it really is to correct still and video using Lightroom 4. Now if you'll notice these uh, two still images and one video clip are different color balances. They were shot in relatively the same location and about the same time. The video clip is in open shade right by a lake as also this one is. This one is a little further up the hill and as you if you look closely you can see that it's actually reflected light when I'm shooting videos and stills together I try uh, very uh, hard not to use any type of flash I use bounced light, reflected light, reflectors that way I can keep the lighting consistent uh, between the shots which just makes it a lot easier this is warm light which was the reflected light of the sun coming through the trees in early morning so let's go ahead and, sh and I'll show you how to match uh, these three. Now I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer and uh, a very handsome young man named Zach and a very good friend of mine. I want to uh, in develop module uh, correct this. It is a little bit on the green side for me so I'm going to warm it up just a little bit and uh, it looks just a little bit flat so let's adjust the contrast by using the, the tone curve. Uh, raise the lights, deepen the darks perhaps just a little bit more magenta, take the blacks down just a little. So here's a before and after. See just a little adjustment makes it look much better. Now this will serve as our reference image so I simply right click and I select lock to second window. That makes a secondary display up in the upper left hand corner. So now let's go to the second image and um, bring it in here. It's a little obviously on the cool side so let's add some warmth, a little yellow, a little magenta. Take the density down just a little, perhaps a little more yellow. You just keep tweaking back and forth until you get them matching as closely as possible. So we went from here to here, much better. And maybe just a little magenta. That's looking pretty good. So now these two, the two stills, match closely enough. Um, now in develop when you s try to correct video you'll see video is not supported in the develop module. That's kind of a bummer but we have a way around that. In quick develop mode there is actually a way that you can uh, apply color and density corrections. Here you can um, uh, temperature would be yellow, uh, tint would be magenta, you have exposure and contrast, white and black points and vibrance. But these are very rough corrections and uh, perhaps quick develop is the right term. I, I call that quick corrections. I prefer not to use that. So what we're going to do is if there's a little square here that you can click and say capture frame, what it does is makes a duplicate of the image that the area you're on and makes a JPEG. As you see this is an MP4 video. This is now a JPEG from the video. So now we can bring this JPEG into the develop module and apply all the finer corrections. So let's bring it up a little bit to maybe a one-to-one -one. and now we can apply the finer controls located in the develop module. So we can apply the color, a little bit of tone curve, which is how I like to get my contrast, even a little bit of vibrant, vibrance if we prefer. Let's zoom it in. Uh, we're perhaps just a little cool. So anyway, you just keep working back and forth until you have that fairly close, and I think we're uh, pretty good now. So at this point, what you want to do, let's just get rid of that, you have a, uh, an image. What you want to do is go over to the left side under the presets. You click this plus to create a new preset. 
and you name the preset that you uh, want to create. Uh, I can call it perhaps Zach 1, whatever I want to call it. Then I create that preset. Now watch this. Here's the fun part. Go back to the library mode. Go back to the video clip. Come up here to saved preset. And we want to come down to user presets and find Zach 1. There it just applied that video uh, with the color corrections I made to the JPEG. So now we have three that match fairly closely. I can then blend these images together into a slideshow or an Animoto video or uh, any type of uh, e-product presentation I wish to make. So see this really was quite easy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks a lot and keep shooting.